This is Dabu7. We now have the Pentagon refusing to publicly speculate on any possible scenarios of action in terms of North Korea. This should not surprise anyone, especially after yesterday. They get so close that they're within firing range, and there was word that they could launch a preemptive strike. Now, I had asked the question, why would you ever let that cat out of the bag? But it's already out of the bag. And it doesn't matter if they want to deny it. At this point, it's the truth. If they see this guy going for loading up a nuclear weapon for testing, they're going to strike him. Now they're wishing that people weren't getting so far ahead of the curve in their predictions and in calling stuff here. Some of it rather obvious. You don't go all the way across the planet with all your military to just sit there and do what? You're going to tell me that there's not going to be a preemptive strike? That there's, or are you going to wait for them to detonate this device? That's the exact opposite of what they said they're going to do. They are not going to allow him to test this. And if they do test it, you should see this register as a shallow earthquake on the earthquake maps. Do not forget that. We have Russia flying bombers near Japan. Japan scrambling more jets than ever in its history because of the tensions with China. China also warning North Korea. If anything blows back in our country, you're going to get it from us. The whole thing rather heated. We have Russia right now saying they want things to calm down. Kim Jong-un saying that Trump's tweets are threatening and all this other stuff, and he needs to chill out with the tone of the rhetoric. Well, one thing's for sure. Beyond the tweets, beyond all the talk, there are war machines in motion. There are vessels in position. There are submarines underwater. There are bombers in Guam that they are ready to launch. They're ready for an event over here. So I just hope that we make it through the week. Nothing big goes down, truly. I hope they do not strike them. Now, if they're to start launching nukes or something crazy, we're going to have to make a move. But at the same time, here on this world stage... When you see these theaters of war and how controlled they are, in the end, once again, it's innocent people that always die. And that's a difference from a decapitation strike of taking out the leadership and their military. It's the people, the innocent people in these countries that always get caught up in the shelling. And that's what needs to stop. I believe we're technical enough, savvy enough, smart enough to be able to pull off some of these things without taking out massive amounts of civilians. And that's my biggest concern in regards to this. Always is in terms of dropping bombs. And all we can do at this point is send out prayers, cross your fingers it doesn't go crazy, in hope that they don't have some freaking staged event like Pearl Harbor or 9-11 set up for this country to blame these SOBs. That, in reality, is my biggest concern because they've done it over and over again throughout history. If you're not hip to it, you're doomed to repeat it, and I'm here to let you know. They've done it before, Gulf of Tonkin, the whole nine. So keep that in mind and that option on the table. Stay vigilant, y'all. I will continue to update. Tune in Underground World News Live tonight. It should be interesting. Stay tuned for more. Peace.